Hello, my name is Colin McNaughton. I'm a technical marketing manager for Ansible Automation Platform here at Red Hat. And today I am pushing some execution environment images from my local workstation out to Private Automation Hub. So let's take a look at Private Automation Hub first. I'm going to log in as uh, the admin user and I am a super user here. So if I wasn't a super user, I would probably have to create a new group, um, assign some permissions to it, and then add a user to that group. But uh, like I said, I'm, I'm already a super, so I should be able to do everything that I need to accomplish here. If I take a little look at my container registry, I already have two images here, one for ServiceNow, um, EE here stands for Execution Environment, and then a Windows EE as well. Um, I have to push out a, a third execution environment for some F5 automation that I'm doing today. So I'm going to go back to my, uh, my console here, and uh, I'm going to pull down um, my execution environment from Quay. That's where it lives today, but I want to move all of my execution environments out of Quay and have them privately hosted on my own private re automation hub registry. So let's do that first. Let's do podman. Well, let's make sure that nothing's here first. Podman images. Okay, nothing here. Let's do podman pull uh, from Quay.io, uh, my old namespace that I'm going to retire at some point soon. And there's my F5EE. Okay, so it looks like I was able to pull down my F5 execution environment from Quay. Let's just verify with podman images. Okay, there it is. So before I push out this image, I think I'm going to re-tag it just to make sure that everything is clean. So what I'll do is podman tag. Um, let's take this. And I'm going to tag it for my, um, my automation hub here. So I'm just gonna pull the URL from over here. And give it a name of F5EE. Okay, so let's run Podman images again and see what that did. Okay, so now it looks like I have two images here. I really only have one. They have the same image ID. Um, this is really kind of just aliased over to this um, image over here. But at this point, I'm ready to push this, um, this, uh, this image here. So let's do Podman push. Um, I would pass it the URL and the name of the image, but I've already tagged it here, so I can just kind of copy that over and enter. Oh, excuse me. So I actually have this improperly configured. So what I'll have to do is TLS verify equals false. Okay, and there it goes. So TLS verify false. I had to do that because I don't have, I think I just have self-signed certificates on this private automation hub server right now. Um, so I'm just ignoring that. Let's go back over here to my private automation hub, refresh on container registry. And there it is, there's my F5 execution environment. You can see recent activity where it's sort of moving tags around to specific SHAs. So if I uploaded this again, uh, made some changes, uploaded it again, the latest tag would move to a new SHA representing that, um, uh, that iteration on this image. And then you can also see tags over here um, and the command, that the podman command that you would use to pull it down. So there it is, uh, really quickly, um, now before I will say I, I kind of skipped a step here, which was both logging into Quay.io and logging into my registry. And I just did that using the podman login command for, you know, private automation hub. Um, and then it would prompt me for username and password. Um, and again, I would probably had to pass that TLS verify false flag as well. But there it is. That's how I can re I can pull down my existing container images for my execution environments and push them straight out to private automation hub so that I can now um, use those execution environments throughout my, my environment. Um, I can pull those into automation controller and execute automation against my inventory using those execution environments. Thank you very much.